beautiful soul family, soul tribe, family of light, star seeds, light workers, family and friends. Welcome. This is Patricia, eleven eleven. So I'm coming to you uh, for a mini meditation. So you could start off the reading with the mini meditation, and this will be for all the signs. Okay. So um, yeah. So I'm going to invoke uh, first. Um, my higher self and the Holy Spirit, and of course, uh, our beloved universe, our beloved Mother Gaia, to sustain and protect us in the reading and the meditation. <laughs> um, I'm going to invoke, of course, my fairies, my angels, my archangels, my spirit guides, uh, and last but not least, uh, my ancestors. Okay, so let's get started. Take a deep breath in. I will call in Archangel Uriel to clear my energy and space, and I will do that for you if you want. Clear my energy and space, and also for you. With love, comfort, and peace. Then I will invoke Archangel Raphael. For those of you that want to embrace the healing light of Archangel Raphael, green, emerald, and pink infusion of light to your heart chakra. And anywhere that you need this type of healing, time for Archangel Raphael. Take a deep breath in and then release. Then we're going to call upon Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life. Set your intentions. For the collective one more time archangel michael for a breakthrough in your life set your intentions and for the collective as well set your intentions last but not least we're gonna call upon archangel gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with light, love, unity, compassion, kindness, protection, abundance in all shape, way, and forms, wealth in all shape, way, or forms. And if there's anything else you want to add, set your intentions. One more time. For Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective, please send your intentions if you like. And so it is. Hi everybody, this is Patricia 1111 and welcome. So uh, we're doing weekly readings from April 4th to the 10th of 2022. Um, since I can't shuffle the cards because they're very thin and uh, two or three cards might come out, uh, what I did is I just put them like this on, uh, the, on my desk here and uh, I'm gonna be divinely guided to which of the next signs is next. 
Okay, let's see what stands out. This card here stands out. All right, let's see who's next in the reading. Pisces. Okay, so Sun and Pisces. Okay, so this reading is for Pisces. Anybody that has Sun and Pisces and anywhere that you have Pisces in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time for you. If the reading resonates, claim it. But if it doesn't, then uh, look at your other placements, okay, on your chart. Also, remember that when the reading is easy and flowing and it resonates with you, and then let's say another part doesn't resonate with you, just take what's yours and let the rest go because I am channeling for the collective. Very important. Also, that to also feel free to swap the energies around if you feel like I'm not talking about you and it's about someone else. And cross watchers, of course, and um, cross watchers, and I'm lost for words. <laughs> Cross watchers and cuspers are welcome to the reading. So now, before, before I get started with the tarot, actually, uh, so this is about a higher purpose, okay? For you, number 12 is significant, and align yourself with love and wisdom. So before we get started, I will take out, uh, and this card came out for you, Pisces. It's the first, it's really crazy the way the card came out here. I'm going to put it back into the deck, but imagination. So this is about imagine, imagination, daydreaming. This is all about you, my beautiful Pisces. So I will put it back. Uh, I'll take out a few cards uh, from the Wisdom of Oracle here, uh, from your for your past, your current energy, and your immediate future, and I will take extra cards from it if I need to. Okay, so let's get started here. So Pisces, how are you all doing? How's it going, Pisces? Tell me how you're doing. I hope that you're all doing well. Okay, two, two cards came out. Okay, you got message in the bottle. And you got go to the sea. So there is a message that is coming in or has come in or will be coming in for you, depending where you are on your soul path. Okay, so this is like a message in the bottle. This could be a text message, a phone call, an email, okay, a letter coming in for you. Or you're going to be hearing a message from your spirit guides here. Okay. And uh, this is a, a message that's coming in for you. Then you got, num you got number 15, which is a six. Then you got the seven here. I feel here you're going through a, uh, a there's some type of, um, you're going through some type of process here. Okay. Going to the sea, you are being divinely guided. I do see a loved one here uh, that is here for you. Okay. And is, is with you and is guiding you. Uh, maybe some of you don't realize and you feel alone in this situation here. Um, you're going through a, a process here, okay? Some of you might be going on vacation or you might be relocating or moving. Whatever the case is, there's a process that you're going through, okay? And uh, to be fair, now, if you notice the woman here, she has an owl. Okay, so the owl is very strong for you, Pisces. Some of you have... Very strong, uh, honestly. Your owl is uh, your own animal totem. And maybe some of you do not know this, but if you do continually see owls, or like, uh, you know, maybe you're watching a movie or you're seeing it on your news feed somewhere, uh, that's a message for you, okay? This is about things being fair here. So, like, you have a scale here, okay? And you're trying to bring things into balance in a situation in your life here, okay? And uh, I see horizons taking place, like sunlight here around for you. Underneath the, the uh, underneath the the cards, I have the blessed. Okay, so blessed is about being grateful, feeling grateful, feeling blessed for everything that you have. Okay, this is about opportunities that are coming in, synchronicities that are coming in. Maybe in the recent past year, some of you uh, there was change that happened. Okay, there was change that happened for you. There was a change in the wind. Things took place. There's a message coming in. Some of you probably were in a place where there was indecision. Uh, and there was a fork in the road here in a situation. And uh, yeah, you know, and there's a, uh, someone around you, okay, that has a loyal heart. Okay, this is someone that's faithful. Uh, the king and queen energy here. It's about feeling blessed in the situation. And uh, they're asking you to come to the edge. 
Okay, so this is about new beginnings, endings taking place, and this could be a soulmate energy that's coming in for you. Now, this could be a form, it's not just about love, Pisces. It could be about anybody in your life, okay? It could even be about a fur baby. Maybe some of you are going to be adopting a, a fur baby or buying a dog or a cat. For others of you, there is someone here for you, okay? You have to go through a lot of changes to get where you are. Within you, you have to balance something within you, and uh, you also have to be fair in your decisions that you have to come forth, okay? Coming to the edge talks about, again, you know, um, if I look at this, it's like, it just shows me that you had to go through something here. There was a change. There was a tower moment. You were maybe at one point, uh, there was an, some type of indecision that you had to, like, you had to take which road, which way do I go, right? But in either way, which way you go is going to be the right way is what Spirit is saying here. So these are your messages from the Wisdom of Oracle. And now we will start your reading, Pisces. Okay, so let's start your reading here. This reading is for, like I said, Pisces Sun and anywhere that you have Pisces in your chart. So let me just shuffle the cards a bit. the death card in the recent past or past the three of wands the seven of pentacles in your current energy you have the magician the eight of cups the three of swords reversed in the immediate future you have the ten of cups the nine of cups you do have eight nine ten <clears throat> this is uh, of uh, num numerology. <clears throat> you got the devil and the possible outcome. You got the moon reversed. Pisces, you came into your own reading with the king of swords. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> there's something else they're showing me now. For your overall energy, you got the world reversed. There's something that you maybe need to do closure on. I feel some of you <clears throat> need to do closure on a something from your past. Uh, it could be uh, tying up loose ends. Whatever it is here, the world reverse talks about unfinished business. But it doesn't mean that it has to be unfinished business with someone. This could be with you yourself. What I see here is the King of Swords energy. Okay, it could be anybody in your life. It could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It doesn't have to be the sign. <clears throat> this could be you also in the sign. This is someone that's very intelligent and very logical. Okay, their heart and mind are the same place. They're very observant. They, they observe from far. There's a lot of communication. But I feel like Earth energy with this, like Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Now, again, this could be you in energy or there's someone else coming in for you. We'll have to see. In the recent past, you got the Death card, the Three of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles. There's something that ended here. Okay, there was, a, there's, there was an ending here. There was a huge transformation. There was an ending and new beginning. Death and rebirth and letting go of people or situations or relationships. There could have been also losses for some of you. With the Three of Wands, this is a shows that this is how quickly you decided to move past this situation you're looking into the future okay you are or will be looking into the future with optimism okay happiness again in your life and this is about your ships coming in with the seven of pentacles here it shows that you are taking care of yourself you are like nurturing yourself pisces you have been or you are at this time and you're reevaluating everything okay like your friendships maybe your money just in your life in general and being at crossroads okay now, in the current energy, you have the Magician, which you are manifesting, your dreams, desires, the Eight of Cups energy, and the Three of Swords. There's just something that you're walking away from here. You're moving on from. You're moving on from a situation in the current energy. Let's see what else is. And uh, healing, a beautiful healing that's taking place with your Three of Swords. In the immediate future, you've got the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Devil card. Okay, well, some of you could have been dealing with a Capricorn energy for some of you, okay? For others of you, this is Saturn energy. If not, this talks about making poor choices, probably or feeling negative or it could be addiction or feeling stuck in a situation because you do have the Ten of Cups. This is about family. This is about harmony. This is about happiness. It's about being contented. There could be a new relationship here for you uh, and uh, or just, uh, you know, a soulmate energy. And this is a wish fulfillment that you want, but some of you might feel might feeling might be feeling stuck with a Capricorn individual. Okay, so let's see what this is all about. And in the possible outcome, Neptune and Pisces here. 
this is about some type of truth is going to be revealed to you. So something is going to be revealed to you. And you're going to have crazy dreams about this person. If you are, or a situation here, you will have crazy dreams. Especially April 12. Just remember, April 12, okay? is a very significant day. Now, we're going to clarify the cards. Okay? Um, let's see what's going on here. If I'm talking fast, because all of you think that I'm rushing the reading, I'm not rushing the reading. When I channel, I channel fast. And this is something that I tell everybody, even when people come to me for personal readings, that when I'm talking quickly, and I always tell people, when I'm talking quickly and very quickly, it's because I'm channeling. I cannot channel any other way. This is how I channel. I've been channeling like this for a long time. And uh, if you don't understand it the first time around, then maybe you need to watch the video again and again so that you could get that message, okay? So just, I guess I won't be able to repeat it again. Okay, so let's look at the world reversed here, okay? So, what is this world reversed? Eight of Pentacles, Five of Wands, the Nine of Wands. Okay, so in the world reversed here, you've been putting a, you Okay, so it shows here that there's been a lot of... It may be in the past year, because the world is reversed. So there is unfinished business, maybe within you, in this situation... Maybe this is about tying up loose ends. This is about endings and new beginnings, okay, that are taking place for you. But it's reversed still. Let's see why, okay? There's been a lot of fighting in a situation here. A lot of bickering, gossip, drama, envy, jealousy. Just or maybe in energies around you, okay? And with the Nine of Wands, some of you are blocking something here, okay? You're looking into the past saying, look, look at these. All, these are all... The things I had to go through. I'm still standing here, but I'm exhausted. Like, I'm exhausted. But you're looking into the past with discernment. But I do feel that there's something that's going to be shifting here. Because I feel like you are working on something here. You're putting a lot of energy and work into something here. Um, maybe, like, in, in, what, in terms in what you want to do. Uh, I feel like that because you're reevaluating everything here, okay, in terms of maybe what you want to do, what is your passion, what you like to do, but there is something that you're putting a lot of work and you're doing a lot of thinking about it too as well. Okay, so let's look at this. I'm just going to take an extra card for the Eight of uh, Pentacles here. Yeah, this is, okay. Well, look at this. Well, <laughs> Well, uh, there is going to be some type of shift, okay? Because from the world reversed, you got the, this card here, the death card, right? So that talks about some type of um, of transformation you're going to be going through. Look what's showing up here for you with these cards, okay? These are the three cards that popped out. Okay, you're working on what? Maybe manifesting your dreams. You're affirming. You're learning new things here, I feel. You're learning things as you go along, there is going to be collaboration and a strong foundation here. There could be a new love that's coming in for you, Pisces. Or this could be love that's being renewed within you or around you with whoever. This could be something that you're already in a relationship and this is the love that's coming through. This could be, like I said, new love. Could be pregnancy for some of you. This is about unconditional love and forgiveness. There's something here. There's collaboration here and a strong foundation in a situation. And I do see that you are working on manifesting your dreams, desires here, okay? Again, abundance is coming in for you. So it's very powerful to see this. Now, I want to see who this King of Swords energy is for you. Okay, because I do, I do see someone here as the King of Swords. So let's see who's this King of Swords. The Ten of Swords reversed, the Queen of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. There's definitely a connection here, okay? There's a connection, definitely. This is about releasing the past and how you were thinking, maybe in a situation. But the Ten of Swords is reversed and it's past tense of things that really broke down. Like something here broke down where, you know, it was like an ending of something karmic that had to take place. It could be also thought patterns. Look at this here, okay? show you this you got the king of swords the two of cups the queen of pentacles this could be you in energy and how you're working towards yourself and towards your project and towards your pentacles as well there could be collaboration coming in for work okay or there's someone definitely coming in with emotions here there is definitely a meeting a reunion or a connection here this could be love that's coming in for you very successful very grounded energy very reliable, very intelligent energy here that's taking place. So very nice for both of them. Now, let's get started. Let's look at the death card. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> In the recent past. Oh. 
Okay, so yeah, definitely here. Look, you got the Four of Pentacles reversed, the Wheel of Fortune reversed, and the Knight of Swords reversed. Maybe some of you were waiting for someone to communicate with you, okay? That was not coming in. There was a delay. Delay with the Wheel of Fortune, detours and delay with Jupiter energy, okay? And the Four of Pentacles, this is about letting go. Some of you let go of something because maybe you had no choice or someone let go of you or you let go of someone or something here, okay? Because it was like not in, it was not aligned, Okay, and with the death card there, there was a huge transformation, death and rebirth that took place in the past. Now, let's look at the three of wands in the recent past and why it's here. You got the sun card, the three of cups, the tower reversed. Yes, yeah, definitely the tower reversed. There was some type of disruption that happened, uh, chaos, difficult change. Okay, but also uh, that this was past tense. Okay, this is what took place. And what's showing up for you is beautiful, okay? Uh, there's like definitely celebration that's going to be taking place with your friends here, okay? Or people from your past. Um, talks about the sun, talks about happiness, joy, abundance again coming in for you because you have the Ace of Cups as well because the Ace of Cups talks about abundance. And the Three of Wands is about, uh, you know, looking, at, uh, looking, um, <clears throat> looking in the past here. No, sorry. Looking forward to whatever it is that this is going to bring you. You're looking forward with optimism here. And your ships are coming in. This could be also happening in your current energy or will be coming in. Okay, depending where you are in your soul path. Now let's look at the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here in the recent past? The Ace of Swords reversed. The Ace of Wands upright. The Knight of Cups energy. Well, definitely here, uh, I see that there's someone coming in, okay, or will be coming in for you. Uh, I see here there's no communication or you're not seeing this right now. There's something that you're not seeing or you're not communicating or someone is not communicating to you. But I do see that you are reevaluating everything and you are going to be a crossroads, but you're overthinking about this. Or maybe there's no communication or not seeing clearly is what I'm hearing for you, Pisces. Um there's something coming in for you, definitely. There's something, someone coming in. It could be a, someone a bit younger than you, okay? Or this could be someone wanting to share love, wanting to sh date you probably. Uh, and they're coming in with passion here. Uh, th th I feel like there's a, there's a new beginning that's going to take place uh, for you with the Ace of Wands. Could also be some type of work that's coming in. And if it, this has to do with work, well, it's, it will be at the beginning stages of it. But it will turn into something very passionate. Okay, um, but again, I do feel so for some of you uh, in the recent past till now, <clears throat> there's definitely someone here wanting to share love with the Knight of Cups energy. Now, let's look at the Magician. You got the Hierophant reversed. It's showing me a bit of your past here. You have the Magician, the Hierophant reversed. The Death card and the Empress. Wow. So you're going through a lot of transformations, uh, it shows here, okay? So uh, there's something here of uh, life lessons that, um, some type of life lesson that uh, is being shown to you. It's like, um, it's like, like having that uh, silver lining, uh, like the ha ha moment of understanding of life lessons that were not here for some of you. It's still showing up here. Uh, of a life lesson or marriage or something for some of you or a dream that you wanted here that is not coming to fruition with the Hierophant reverse Taurus energy. Now, again, I'm just saying Taurus. For those of you that, you know, if this has to do with a Taurus, maybe some of you, their marriage this or a relationship here is like uh, going through something very difficult. Uh, what I do see is, again, with the death card and rebirth, there's definitely an ending and new beginning taking place. There's a death and rebirth. There's a huge transformation in the current energy you're going through. You are manifesting your dream desires. Venus is here to help you as well. Pisces, some of you have uh, your Pisces and Venus as well here. This talks about new opportunities for you that are coming in. It's about having the minus touch. And it's about fertility, creativity here. Uh, you know, being creative. A lot of transformations have to take place here, okay? With the Empress energy. Uh, when you're manifesting, you let, you let it go. You put you put out what you want out there. And then you just, as the Empress, she waits and everything comes to her. Okay, so let's look at this Eight of Cups. Because here it shows that uh, in the recent past, you walked away from something or someone here. So to get to your Nine and Ten of Cups, which is showing up here for you. 
You got the Ten of Wands reversed, the High Priestess reversed, the Page of Wands. Okay, so there's something here in the current energy, or maybe in your recent past till your current energy, because everything is intertwined together. The past, the present, the future is all in one place together. So just understand that, okay? There's something that you're not following your intuition on, okay? Something was very difficult. You had a lot of obstacles. It got released from you. You're still you're walking away from something here, or you already have walked away. It all depends where you're on your soul path, okay? Pisces, it's important that I mention that because everybody's different, okay, and how they're going through and proceeding through things. Uh, but you're definitely uh, something that you were not uh, following your intuition on. And with the Page of Wands energy, this is about some... You've been see some of you have been seeing the signs at this time. The page of wands talks about where there could be news of some type of um, positive news coming in for you. It's a start <clears throat> of something passionate towards you. Maybe your goal, whatever you're working on. If it's a, a, a person coming in, uh, <clears throat> you've been seeing the signs. So yeah, definitely there's something is coming in divine timing here for you. But your intuition here, I'm just going to take another card for the High Priestess reversed because I just want to see here what's the High Priestess reversed about? The Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, this has to do with uh, some type of stability here. Uh, could be, uh, you know, stability or money that had to come in or uh, maybe a stability with uh, something that happened in the past year, okay? Some type of love situation here. Uh, let's say if you were in a relationship or something. Uh, some of you were not... Um, I believe here some of you were not um, connected to yourself or connected to the higher power because uh, you were not following your intuition. Something here was not strong enough, okay? But again, look at the Page of Wands, the Queen of Wands comes out. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius Leo or Aries. It doesn't have to be that sign. But this is like, for me, the Queen of Cup Wands is someone here that uh, is, uh, you're going to get into this Queen of Wands energy. Maybe you're just going to start off as the Page of Wands and come into your Queen of Wands. I just feel that this is like the phoenix rising from the ashes. I feel like uh, around this time in April, or um, I do see April here right now, and till August, I feel you're going to come into your own here, okay? This is about manifesting your true desires. It's about being generous, truthful, uh, adventurous. Uh, you're going to be changing how you look. With There's a lot of work that's been done for you and within you, but it's also on the outside of you as well, okay? It's going to show up here. And it's about being creative. It's about being passionate about everything that you do. And there's something magical happening here for you, okay? In love and finances. Now, let's look at the Three of Swords reversed. The Four of Cups. The Page of Pentacles. The Fool. Some of you are not sure what you're going to do here. There's like some type of, uh, with the Page of Pentacles, there's some type of offer coming in. It could be at the beginning stages. You do have the Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles here. Uh, some type of passion and some type of, could be a, a new job coming in or money or something like that. The Divine is telling you to take that leap of faith, to come to the edge and have that leap of faith. But some of you, I feel here, might reject it. You're not interested. It's like whatever. You're not interested in this new offer that's coming in. All right. So let's look at... The Ten of Cups here in your immediate future. Maybe some of you are not ready for a commitment or a, especially if it's a breakup or an ending of a marriage or ending. It's normal that you're not ready for it. Okay, but the divine is, is showing you that this is divinely guided for you. Um, but some of you are maybe not ready. Okay, let's see the Ten of Cups. Six of Cups reversed, the Seven of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. There's definitely someone here uh, that's uh, planning ahead, coming towards you. I feel here you release the past of uh, feeling nostalgic. Um, you have a lot of options here. You have a lot of goals and dreams, uh, but there also there's a lot of confusion, and you need to be careful, which is normal because uh, you know you may be advancing pretty quickly, but then uh, you have to be careful of the people around you, if, especially for those of you that are not following your intuition at this time, okay? Uh, like I said, it's still like you have a lot of options here. Uh, I do see someone uh, th that's planning ahead very slowly moving towards you, or this is you moving towards someone, but they're coming in with the Ten of Cups energy. So it's a very, it's a, it's a, it's about harmony, family, soulmate energy, feeling contented here. Let's look at the Nine of Cups. There is a wish fulfillment here for you. 
the Nine of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, someone, okay. So yeah, definitely here, um, you have number 99 in energy, completions. Uh, okay, so it's a wish fulfillment, but some of you are worried about something, okay? Um, you can't sleep at night, uh, you have insomnia, there's anxiety here. Just worried, you have a lot of fear in the situation here. And you're being pulled in two different directions in how you're feeling and what you should do. Because a lot of you are not uh, using your intuition. But I do see a new way of communicating here. This is someone watching you online. Or uh, or could be someone here that's uh, communicating on online, okay? Um, and I also see like someone here is, is with the Page of Swords, it's a new way of talking, the new way of perceiving things, new way of communication and your manifestation or whatever you're reading or whatever your ideas are, they're like this one after another, okay? But I feel that you are, some of you are like juggling here, trying to bring something into balance. But there will be some type of communication coming in. Now let's look at this Devil card. This could be Saturn or Capricorn in energy. We got the Hermit reversed, the Judgment reversed, the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Star reversed. Okay, so it was just to get an idea of what's happening here. There's something that uh, someone here is coming out in the immediate future, coming out from a time where maybe they were feeling stuck in a situation. There was like negativity. Oops. Uh, there was some type of judgment that took place. Uh, uh, that there's a, there was a rebirth or an awakening that took place here. For some of you, this was with a Capricorn. I do have Virgo here too. Someone's coming out of the dark night of the soul here. And uh, you will be coming out of the dark night of the soul. Someone here is coming out of a time where they've been taking time for themselves, reflecting, okay, meditating, reflecting, uh, uh, reassessing everything and following their own path here. Uh, there was something that I feel here uh, you had to walk away from. Um, maybe you are going to be walking away from this uh, because it doesn't serve you. You feel that it doesn't serve you. Um, you lost hope. You gave up on the situation completely or you're, uh, you gave up on your dreams. Uh, and you're coming in as this Queen of Swords energy. This could be you and energy. Okay, so, you know, uh, you, see, you see things from a different perspective. You're able to cut people out if you have to and speak bluntly about it. Uh, you won't be shy to do that if you have to do that, okay? So, and with the Six of Pentacles, you're definitely uh, trying to bring something into balance here with the Six of Pentacles. But also at the same time, I also feel that you're going to be receiving something here. So there's some type of receiving, but it all depends because I also see like, some of you might be walking away or this could be the, the person you're dealing with. So let's look at the Moon Reversed. You got the King of Wands reversed, the Two of Wands reversed. Justice is coming in. Some of you are going to be solo. Not, not all of you, but some of you might be going through your journey in a relationship and ending a relationship and going solo. Um, I just want to see what else they're showing me here. Okay, let's see here. Someone here with the King of Wands energy reversed here is going through a humbling experience. Someone here is not ready right now to go after their dreams and goals because there's some someone here is still trying to figure out what direction they should go you know and you should go with with the flow you should not force anything if it doesn't feel right but if you are not understanding your intuition then you could be missing opportunities coming your way too so you need to be careful with that uh, someone here is coming out of a time where there been there's been time out but they're gaining there's like some type of clarity and that's being given is that's being shown with the four swords reversed Okay, <clears throat> I do see someone here going solo with the Nine of Pentacles. You're working on yourself. You are. It shows you're uh, you're going you you're working towards that Ten of Pentacles that you want, or that abundance that you need or want here. And this uh, talks about you being independent. Something here is coming into balance, Libra energy. Definitely, the truth is going to be told here, and the rulings will be made in your favor. And with the Two of Wands reversed in the Ace of Pentacles, talks about that you are going to be moving forward. And uh, the Divine is coming in to give you maybe a job, a new job opportunity for some of you, uh, uh, something coming in, a gift, or this could be just some, uh, just some type of stability that's coming in for you. Okay, so now uh, let me just see underneath the deck. I got the Strength reversed. Okay. The King of Cups, the Ten of Cups, reversed the Queen. 
the devil the nine of cups i just wanted to show you this just this is an extra bonus for you pisces because your reading was a bit like it was like <laughs> like this you got it okay so this is about not having uh, the strength and the courage in a situation someone is not feeling that well they're not feeling happy at this time in their home in their harm in their family in a relationship that probably ended i feel that something ended here uh or something is not really going well even though that this is a wish fulfillment some of you are dealing with a capricorn 100 percent. others of you are dealing with a lot of like you're going through this period where you are going through this dark night of the soul some of you need to understand that okay because there's something happening very quickly for some of you here uh, and it's kind of jarring for me because i it's rare i see you in this type of energy but the divine you know um, is coming out saying here that with the king and queen of cups there's two people that truly do love each other here there is but uh and i do see that there's going to be some type of movement here uh this could be again like going to the dark night of the soul here with the you know being that you're feeling stuck uh, not feeling good about something here that had to do with uh, your harmony your happiness in a relationship though it's a wish fulfillment and um, i see you wanting this type of situation i i still see two people here loving each other i do have the king and queen of swords and the queen and king of cups energy and uh with the chariot energy this talks about choosing one direction so this is about choosing one direction here and it's about taking your power back and moving forward so there will be travel for some of you and it's about <coughs> excuse me ah uh, for a second it's about control and finding a uh, triumph. So something is going to come out of this very good. Uh, I just don't want you guys to give up on anything at this time, at this point, okay? Uh, because there's a lot of positive cards here. But I don't know who this, someone here is really going through a, a tough time at this time. So it's, I could feel it in the energy. It's very intense. So now I'm just going to take out a few cards from my tarot angel cards to see what the angels have to say about this too. The archangels have to say about this, okay? So let me just shuffle the cards here. I think Cancer too uh, are going through some something familiar. If Cancers are also going through the same thing, almost the same thing. Okay, let's see what's going on here for you. I'm just gonna go take the card that fell. Okay, let's look at what. Uh, they're saying here you got the king of gabriel so this is someone that's generous inspirational dramatic and driven this is the king of wands keep your eyes on the big picture leave the details to others experience that leads to success and genuine concern for others the next one you got here is the six of michael it's the light at the end of the tunnel Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Relocation or travel is, in, is here for you. Then you got the Ace of Michael. A wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. And then you got Leap of Faith, Archangel Metatron. Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what, do what gives you joy. It's about taking that leap of faith. And new beginnings with Archangel Jeremiah. Germ it says starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassion, compassionate review of your past. So this is what's taking place here for you. And now I will take out a card here from, um, these are new cards. The Psychic Oracle cards. Ooh. Okay, so this is from Debbie Malone. So I will take out a card for you, Pisces. And read read something for you. Well, I hope that the reading provides you that you there is beautiful things taking place for you around you. And even though you're going through a tough time now in whatever the case is here for you, okay, whatever this is that you're going through, you are not alone. You're being guided. You have your archangels here along and your angels here. Also, at the same time, the sun showing up, the ten of cups, there's beautiful things happening here for you. It's up to you, okay? In the end, there's free will. But there is abundance. There is love here for you. So let's see what's going on here. You got num numbers. Okay. And you got number 26. So I will read this to you in a second. 
Okay. Seeing number sequences will guide and enlighten you. You have received this card as the universe is communicating with you via number sequences. Our entire world functions with numbers and you were assigned your own personal set of numbers on the day you were born and carried them throughout your entire life. These numbers can be very significant as to who you are, what your future life path is, and what type of personality traits you have. Your entire life is connected to personal forms of identification through numbers. Your home has its own numbers as a part of your address. Your car has number plates. You have, a fo you have phone numbers, PIN numbers, identification numbers, and credit card numbers, just to name a few. Your name can be broken down into numbers and your life path can be determined by numerology. Each year is governed by a different number and you will constantly see in the form of time flashing past you. The universe is constantly trying to get your attention in many ways. Some people are more connected than others to universal spiritual messages in the form of repeti uh, something that is repetitive number sequences. Your loved ones, spirit guides, and angels also communicate with you via number sequences. The number card is a, is a sign from above to remind you to be aware and open to the number sequences being given to you. Do you constantly see number sequences such as, uh, as 1111 or 2222? Do you see sequences such as your, as your or your loved one's birth dates, anniversary dates, or the date of someone's passing constantly flash at you? This is because the universe is trying to get a message to you. Numbers are a sign that your hopes and dreams are manifesting with your current thoughts. Be open to receiving the numbers and be aware of what you're thinking about as your thoughts will become your reality. So Pisces, I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Everything will be fine and I'll see you next week. Please take care. I love you. Bye.